quickly, quickly on how to wear makeup while you have to wear your face mask. So I get asked a lot, how do you have makeup on when you are wearing a mask for eight hours a day? It's hot, it's humid in Florida. I can't keep my makeup on even without a mask, but now that I have to wear a mask, how do I keep my makeup on? And I've got some very, very simple tips that do not break the budget that I think will work for almost everybody. Um, and like I said, I have oily skin. I'm prone to oiliness, but I come home and I still have makeup on. So, and if you don't have makeup on, it's okay. You're covering your face, hopefully. Hopefully everybody's wearing their mask. But, so, first step is to prime your skin. But, I use my all-nighter setting spray all over my face before I put any primer on. This is going to help. This is ultra matte as well, and this is almost not completely gone, so I'm in trouble. Um, but I spray this all over my face, fan it, let it set 30 seconds. Oh my god, I got something on my lip gloss. Okay, so <clears throat> I fan that on, leave it on there, and then I prime. I have been switching. I have been switching between the Revlon Prime Plus Mattifying Pore Reducer. Um, you've seen me mention this in many, many, many videos. It's really good um, at the drugstore. I think it's like $13. You probably find it on sale. Use some coupons for it, but it's really good. Um, even if you're not wearing a mask, it will keep your makeup on. It also really helps fill in those pores so your foundation will go right over them. Um, I have busted this back out because a TikToker that I love, um, Michaela, she, does, she loves this and she's obsessed with it. And I've actually started really enjoying it. It was okay when I used it the first couple times, but you can see now that, so just get the travel size. You don't need the $36 because <laughs> this one has been used every day for, you know, probably at least between the two, um, for months. So I've been, I alternate between the two, but this is the Milk Hydro Grip. So it gives you a little bit of tack, hurricane notification, <laughs> but it gives your skin a little tack. So it makes everything kind of stick to it. Also the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Primer. Um, which is somewhere around here, but I couldn't find it to show in the video. The e.l.f. Jelly Pop Primer is a dupe for this. So, very similar. All work the same. Um, you want something that's going to help grip. I really focus it on my nose, on my forehead, and around here where the mask is going to be rubbing. Then, wild, wildly enough, this um, Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage Foundation You've heard me rave about this as well. I have not used any foundation on a consistent basis since I purchased this. Probably like 2018 when it came out, 2017. This is the only foundation that I repurchased multiple, multiple times. And I can do a couple of pumps of this, put it on my face, full coverage. The concealer that is my go-to, <clears throat> if you want to wear concealer, is the Tarte. It does not budge. It does not crease. It always looks amazing. So these together, this costs three times as much as this. What are you gonna do? Um, <clears throat> and then lastly, oddly, the last thing you need and the, really the thing that seals the deal is a good setting powder. Now, preferably a matte one. You're trying to stop the oil coming through. You're trying to um, just kind of make that makeup as flush as possible. So when there's friction with the mask, it's not rubbing off due to oil and all that. So I use the Too Faced Peach Perfect Mattifying Loose Setting Powder. I have literally used this every day since I had, we had to start wearing masks, which was five months ago now. <laughs> um, maybe maybe four months, but you can see how much is in there. Like, So I literally just take a little bit, tap it out in the lid. I take a poof like this. I put it in here and I roll it like this. Press it where I'm gonna get oily and that's all I do sometimes I put it under my eyes just to keep it from creasing and that I mean you literally just need a little bit of powder so whatever your favorite go-to mat mattifying powder is it really will keep that makeup on for you so when you take it off when, you know if you do venture out into the world without a mask and you take it off you'll still have makeup on um, and then I really have just been playing up with the eyes, focusing on the eyes and the brows, which is always my favorite. My kind of go-to anyways is a really wild eye and just a neutral lip and face. But um, I've really just been having more fun playing with the eyes. So 
just kind of start trying stuff out. If you don't want to wear makeup, don't wear makeup. But um, I get so many more compliments on my eye makeup now because everybody's that's the only thing they can focus on. So um, definitely, definitely play around with your eye makeup. Have some fun with it. Hope those uh, tips were helpful. I don't know. Um, just very simple, but it's really about layering, kind of creating that matte, that matte base for you so there's no oil for the mask to kind of rub on and rub back and forth on. Um, and it seems to be working for me for eight to ten hours so <laughs> um yeah so thank you so much for watching and i will talk to you next time bye